Hey world, welcome in to my little cross stitch corner. My name is Sheila. I go by the Crow River Stitcher here on YouTube and Instagram. And I have an Etsy shop called She So Sassy. I sell um, project bags for all our beautiful projects that we accumulate. <laughs> so welcome in. And it's been about two weeks. Today is May 14th. I don't know where that extra week went. I, I plan on like every week, every 10 days, but it, it went quick. <sighs> spring, spring is busy on the farm, like planting, weeding, cleaning the barn, just all the things that you can't do all over the winter that springtime is super busy. So I've just been outside uh, working and Doing lots of stitching though. So first things first, fully finished. I fully finished the little soda stitch, the bicycle date I did. I made it into a pillow and um, super cute. I love it. I picked, this is, um was in my stash. Somebody recommended yellow, like a yellow gingham, and I actually had like this pretty butterscotch yellow gingham. This is a Lori Holt fabric. And then I machine embroidered some hearts and our names and the date we got married. So my nickname is She, everybody calls me She, and his name, the nickname is G. So we go by She and G all the time. And so I just made it simple. It's Shangy 1997 with some hearts. And I was going around and around in my craft room trying to find trim because it just seemed too plain not having a trim on it. And actually, I did I even pull out? I had um, tried to dye different trims. Um, like, oops. Hello. Um, I, I had like little baby pom-poms and I just was cutting off pieces to try to dye. And I tried to do like a green. Eh, it doesn't take that great. And then I tried dyeing some rickrack. This is supposed to be dark brown and it's like beigey, peachy. So the dyeing of the rickrack and the pom-poms wasn't working out. So I'm looking around and I'm like, look at all this yarn. What could I do? Could I make like a fun, like little crochet trim? And so I, I just pulled out some worsted weight and a really small, a lot smaller hook for usually worsted weight. This is like a four. It calls for um, what is it usually? Oh, a five and a half millimeter hook. So this is a three and a half. So I went down a couple sizes and I started making a chain and I was going to like work out of the chain and do like something. I didn't know what I want to do. And then all of a sudden I'm like, that chain is kind of cute. And so I just chained a bunch to fit the perimeter and glued it with, uh, liquid stitch I had on hand. I know a lot of people use Eileen's. I didn't have any of that. So I have a big bottle of this. So this worked out great. So I just glued it all around and I think it turned out really cute. It looks kind of like a, a chenille trim, but it's just yarn. And so there's the, it's just a tight chain. I, I did it, hold, held it really tight. Just, I could have even maybe went down another hook size. But, and then I just matched it up at the bottom, glued it together, and the pillow's done. And so then that got me thinking, I had that Hello Spring pillow that I was looking for some trim, and I did the same thing. But this pillow is bigger than this pillow, well, not by a ton, but a little bit. And the single, the single strand of yarn you could see is a little smaller. So I held two strands together and crocheted just a tight chain. It's 
just a little more bulky, which I think I kind of like it because this one I packed in a lot more with the, um, the walnut. This one I did some walnut and some polyfill. And I like not having a pillow super fat. I like them a little flatter so I didn't stuff overstuff it. Um, but yeah, if you guys have some yarn laying around on certain pillows, you know, that are a little more, um, you know, it might not fit every type of uh, out, outcome, um, but this is kind of a, both these are a little more um, cutesy, I guess, than elegant stitches and the the casual yarn worked out perfect. So yay for trying something different and it worked out. Sometimes that, well, it's hit or miss, 50-50. Sometimes you try something like, nah, scrap that idea. But so yeah, if you guys, and doing a chain is so easy. I mean, if you really don't know how to crochet much, you could, you could whip out a chain. But I was also thinking like I have some of this really uh, thinner crochet thread that I could try like making some fun trim to. I have actually this, oh, I should have got it out. Uh, where is it? I might pause. Oh yeah, I'm going to pause and, and then show you this book. Okay, I found this book I was talking about tangent but it's 200 crochet flowers embellishments and trims this book is so great it has so many um like flowers and trim so here's like a few trims that you, i could crochet and that's kind of what i was thinking like i was going to do something like this is it a pico a pica i don't i don't know how to pronounce it but tons and tons of trims and flowers in here um you could see you could just make a ton of things so you can use a, a thinner crochet thread you know for the smaller pillows and come up with a lot of fun different trims different um mix and match the colors and everything so this book it's by claire crompton great for adding when we were doing some finishing if you guys do crochets like i always keep i have this big bag of um flowers so like this is a thinner crochet thread one that you could just add like i wouldn't do it on this pillow but you could always just add full you know flowers to anything um you know crochet a little a little leaf with a flower oh like if you're doing your pears like ah uh, those cute pears that everybody's doing you could just quick crochet up some leaves and add it to or you know so you don't have to cut them out of felt like if you know how to crochet so there's so many fun things that we could add to our fully finished objects so that is a great one perfect all right so that's what i was thinking when um i was originally going to do that trim. All right. Oh, all right. So those were my two fully finishes. And then I have a big finish. I posted this on Instagram and, ah, oh, so it's my Teresa Colgate love is the key is done. She's done. Look at, look at those little dapper bunnies they're so proper i love them this i started this was my very very first sampler i ever bought and my very first 40 count i ever bought it was right at the time i think it was right after i, I finished the um, that bunny from cottage garden samplings i think i like a week later i went back and bought this and i'm like let's just dive into 40. And the lady at the store is like, do you want to try like a 32 or you want it? Like she was, you know, warn not warning me, but definitely like easing me in. I'm like, ah, I'm just going to go for it. And I brought it home and I had a magnifying magnifier. So it worked out perfect. But 
it did take, you know, it's a little learning curve to try to make sure you don't mess up and, you know, and actually I mess up on almost every project. I'm constantly frogging, but that's okay. Um, it is what it is. So look at it. It's so pretty. I love it. I probably, oh, I'm going to try framing this myself and I need to go thrifting for like a black and gold frame. I, I'm envisioning that. So, because there's some, a lot of warm in here. A little gold. But, so cute. And I looked and looked and double looked and triple looked for any stitches I'm missing. I'm going to have to bring it in to some other people and put some eyeballs on it before I frame it because that would that would stink <laughs> to have to redo it. I think I'm going to try the pinning method first and see how that goes. I have a bunch of pins uh, I found actually at the antique, at my thrifting antique store. They're this old box and they're, I think they're all brass. Um, yeah, solid brass. So the rust proof ones. So yeah, they just had a whole box of these. I love the box too, but I'm going to use the pins and save the box. So that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try doing it myself. So that is my big finish. Love is the key. And um, so yay, Sheila. I had a lot of whips, but I also had two new starts. Um, because I finished Love is the Key, I was like, okay, I I was working on trying to get that done for Mother's Day cause, so I could start my Mother's Day project. But then la the week before, I did start for May 1st, I started the um, Nora Corbett Halloween Fairy. And I got this off Hirsch, Hirsch, Hirsch something, <laughs> Hirsch Burns, Hirsch Bombs. Uh, I'll, I'll link it down there, but you can get the PDF. So I just print it off. So I've been wanting to stitch her for a while and put that one on the board. I got a fair amount done. Um, this one, I, it is, uh, Atomic Ranch Fabrics in Cobblestone. And this is 32 count and... There's my start. 32 count is so easy to work on. I love it. And I mean, you have to hold the two strands, which is fine. The, the stitches don't lay as nice as like a 40, but it's fine. And working with the Krynic, it's, I, I didn't know if you take, because this is a 32 and you use two strands of floss. I didn't know if you use two strands of Krynic. So I'm like, oh, and I asked on Instagram and I had kind of mixed, some people use two, some people use one. So I tried two and it just was really bulky and, and hard. So I just, I'm doing one and it seems to work out great. You can see this is the Krynic up in there. You can't really see the sparkles too well and the trick or treats Krynic and her little crown, but Love it. I've got a fair amount. It's going pretty quickly. I don't know if it's because it's 32 that it seems to go quickly or not. But yeah, she just, I mean, her legs, there's a big pumpkin that'll take a bit. But I might even be done, you know, within a month of this, depending if I pick her back up again. But that is that. Love this fabric for her. It's very Halloween-y and everything's popping well. I was a little concerned about this color. I think it's like 451 or that, but it's going to be fine because there's, there's going to be brown here and so it's great. So that was my one first finish or start for me. And then because I finished Love is the key. I I started another Teresa. <laughs> I love Teresa. So I talked about how I wanted to do Beauty Fades by Teresa Kogut. And 
is this, this is considered a band sampler, right? The different bands. So it's kind of long and narrow. And I went to my store. They're closing. And so I went in to just see what I could find. And this, this calls for mocha uh, fabric by um, Weeks, Weeks Dye Works, I believe. And uh, so I went in to see if they had it. And they didn't have it in 40 count. And they did have it in 46 count. I was like, Ooh, should I try 46 count? And I'm like, why not? What's another six? You know, so I grabbed the 46 count and um, started it. And actually, it's it's not bad. Like, I was, was pleasantly surprised how much it doesn't seem to be that much different than the 40 count right now. And I don't know if it's just, you know, the different dye, dyers but it doesn't seem as tight as I thought it was. Definitely have to use my magnifier, like all my stuff. I just do because it's easier in my eyes. Even like 18 count Ada, if I'm sitting, you know, in the evening if working on it, sometimes I'll just pull my little magnifier over and, and use it just because it's, it's just less stress. So why make your eyes work harder? So this is my start. I, I did the all the border I just did one leg of it and then crossed over at every 10 and I'm going to leave that until I do each band because I kind of like the 10 mark because then as I'm working inside it also gives me um like measurements to make sure I'm on or off so I kind of like that so I'll just <clears throat> probably fill in <clears throat> the second leg as I finish the bands sorry I got a tickle in my throat and so yeah i got the flowers some of them started some of them kind of ghost out but i kind of like that it looks a little more antiquey but it's going to be long the count is what is this one it's 134 by 298 so it's it's long and it'll take a while i do notice that the 46 count i'm a little slower because, oh, I have a question for you guys. So I'm using a 28 needle and I'm wondering, is there one smaller or what do you guys use for the, like the, the smaller or the higher count? Because when I get really dense and I'm trying to push that 28 up through the, the, um, the holes that are dense, it's like hitting other, the other, um, crosses and it's kind of pushing them and then I'm having a hard time like trying to poke through on some of them and some of them go through easily and some not. So sometimes I find myself really like trying to like get into the hole with my 28 and I'm using the um, Bo Bowen. Bowen. I do have some peacemakers. I don't know if those are smaller. I was going to pull both of them out and see if they're a little, you know, but yeah. Do you guys use something else for 46 count? Or you just have to wiggle in between the things. Because sometimes I've actually like pushed and it's messed up the stitch and I have to pull out and lay it back down better. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if that's just the nature of the beast. So, and this beauty fades. I started on Mother's Day because I was thinking of my mom. She adored yellow roses. Those were her favorite. And I'm like, oh, yellow roses. And my mom, bless her heart, she's gone. But she used to tell me all the time, you have to suffer to be beautiful. Because I remember as a little kid sitting on the bath in the bathroom and she's trying to like brush out my hair and putting in tons of Johnson Johnson's detangler. Do you guys remember that in the 70s and 80s? And she'd just be raking through and I'd be like, yeah, crying. And she's like, yes, you know, suffer to be beautiful. And then we used to do these home perms. My grandma, um, we, the Ogilvy home perms and, you know, pulling down, tightening the rods on your head and po poking it with those little um, picks and, you know, the solutions getting in your eyes and I'm like eh. and she's like gotta suffer to be beautiful suffer to be beautiful is our favorite thing to say so I don't know why be the beauty fades and the yellow roses and 
it just reminds me of her. Um, so this is when I'm stitching this, I think of her. Um, I'm not going to personalize it for her or anything, but it's just, it, yeah, it is what it is. So that's kind of why I picked that one for Mother's Day. And all right. So then um, another whip. So I found a community like out here in my hood. Uh, there's a group of ladies that stitch. They meet once a month. And I had gotten an email from one of them to invite invited me. And I'm like, heck yeah, I'm coming. Oh, and then I, um, hold on. So I was saying that um, I got invited to a stitching group that they meet once a month. And so I went on, I think it was Thursday. And met them. Oh my gosh. It's so nice to be like with a group of like-minded women who just love to talk stitchy stuff. And hey ladies, if you're watching. And um, so Karen, the one of the ones that reached out to me, she brought goodies for everybody even. And she had made these little art containers. And it was so funny because I'm sitting there and I'm stitching and I didn't have an art container. I don't have one, you know, like a travel one or anything. I just use a jar at home. And so I'm just like stitching and I'm putting my little things on the table. And she looked at me and she's like, she's like, oh, I'm pulling these out now. It looks like you need one. And so she had made a bunch for everybody. And I'm sure you guys have all seen, you know, something similar but there's just a little charm pack or, you know, a little charm five inch that she made. And then these little snaps. And I was like, oh, how cute. So she passed a bunch around and hand out everything for everybody. And she'd made, there's two with bunnies. And of course, I had to have the bunny ones. I'm like, can I take both the bunnies if nobody wants them? So they all let me have the bunny ones. So thank you guys so much for inviting me. And... I'm so excited to have a little group. And then she also made these beautiful scissor fob things for everybody. So picked out and I love anything pastel-y, pink, blue, purples, whatever. And so isn't that gorgeous? And the cute little scissor on the end. So Karen, thank you again. That was so sweet gifts. You guys are, this, this community is just the best. Like, everybody's always praising everybody talking about other uh youtube and lifting all us women up and it's so great because the world wants to tear everything down you know it feels like some days and you just like and so when you meet people that are just happy that you are winning in life and doing great things and excited for you one that shows like growth as a human you know like just to be able to be happy for others, that's just a gift, right? Like our human nature wants to just be like, Meh, you know, like jealous and envious and, you know, and so when, when we're just happy for other people and excited for everybody and voice that and give gifts and so giving, like that's just, it shows what a great heart and well-rounded human and this community has a lot of them. Like, I have not met a, a bad apple yet. I'm sure they're out there. And uh, I'll just throw them, throw them into the um, recycle bin. <laughs> throw out the bad apples. But it's just great. Just great. So, thank you guys. And so, when I was stitching, I had brought this one. This is a Teresa Colgate from her Patreon in December. And because it's Ada, I brought this to work on and I'm filling in this deer and it was just super easy, mindless, um, just filling in a deer, <laughs> lots of 611 across across. So, uh, that's what I worked on. And it's so funny cause we were there, uh, like three, four hours, five, I don't know. And I just only had a couple little rows and it's like, that's all I got done. And I was working a lot. I was, I mean, I was chatting and working at the same time, but that this deer is intense. He's, he's going to be a big stitch. I have learned Teresa Colgate's are all heavy stitchy. Like they are dense stitches. 
uh, everything is like takes a lot longer than you think so they're great but yeah they're they're not quick by any means so yeah this is just on um like I think this is even just a 16 count Ada and I'll probably make this one into a project bag it'll be bigger and I think it'll be a cute in the middle winter project bag so that's what this one is probably going to be I don't think I'm going to make it into anything but that but you never know another um whip is I started this one, I think in Jan December, January. It is Barbara Anna's. It is called All Creatures Great and Small. There's a little shiny, you didn't take it out. And I am here. And I've learned my lesson with the Teresa, with my love is a key. I had saved a lot of the last, I had did the, like the basic brown around trim, but I'd saved a lot of the, the floral motifs till the end. And I was not a happy camper working on that, that towards the end. So I'm from now on going to continue getting all the motifs in as I'm going through so they're not all saved till the very end because that just gets really monotonous, monotonous. Um, so yeah, this one is on 40 count also. And this is a big thing of um, vintage country mocha. So it's going to be a pretty good size. So that's where I got this is so fun. I love working on all these little motifs and the animals and each one is so different and fun. So I love pulling this one out and working on it. I love that big pig. Me and my animals. So that'll take a while. And then another whip was the Teresa Kogut, because I'm in her Patreon, we're doing the a mystery sale, and it's a two-year mystery sale. And it's called Hometown, and I got caught up on April's, yeah, so January, February, March, April. And I think this is all the further it is across. I don't think there's another section. I think this is as wide as it is. Tomorrow, it comes out on the 15th of every month. So tomorrow will be the new one. Uh, so I think we start working back down, I believe. But don't quote me. But it's a bunch of buildings. This whole thing is, it's kind of like a, a, a town, yeah, hometown. So it'll just be, it's going to be long and um, narrow. So kind of another one like that and this one is on fox and rabbit up in the attic 40 count looking super cute love those little um sheep i tried to find like the fuzzy um floss i forgot what it's called but I, they didn't have it at the store at my store. I couldn't find it at least and I didn't ask. I should have asked asked but I'm the, I'm the type of girl who does not like asking in stores. I'm like I'll just spend you know an extra hour looking before I bother any of the people in the store or sometimes if I'm with my daughter I'm always like, hey, go ask them. She's like, you ask them mom I'm like, go ask them. I don't know why I'm weird about asking and bothering the tribe but I mean I'd probably pee my pants before I ask for a bathroom half the time um so that's that so I love like every month being excited for the new one new project and this this one was dense this month it was just this little section and it's like all house in that I love the brick on that house there so just fun. I'm, I like house design. So if you like houses, 
you could you could actually join in on her style still um if you become a patreon i think she lists the previous months in her shop for like a dollar so all right the next one i worked on is almost done i was really trying to get it done but i didn't get it done this is a freebie on the hands across the seas samplers website so if you go to hands across the sea um her site there's a freebie it's called pretty polly i think and this one is on the joanne fabric that i bought the peril fabric and everybody asks me every every time like what is that so i should probably just keep the skew down in the thing i think it's 2901 something yeah i'll i'll look it back up and put it down in there but that it's about a 40, 42-ish count, and yeah, it's looking great. I don't know if I'll finish it in a circle or what. I think it'll, uh, you know, look good in a circle. I'm not sure, but it'll just be a cute little finish. Probably put it, maybe try to find a circle frame, but I love birds and the pretty flowers, and it's just kind of a, a fun little, a fun little freebie. So I gotta love those freebies sometimes, especially just on a whim when you're kind of bored and you're not in the mood to do any of your stuff and you want something new and you just pull out some fabric in your stash and download the PDF and go to town. So the next project I worked on, didn't work on it much because for some reason I didn't kit it up and had all the floss. like. I must have just been like pulling floss from wherever when I started it, but it's the Prairie Schooler, the January one. And I do plan on making all of these. And let's see, this one is on just like a Newcastle 40 count called Lamb's Wool. I got off one, two, three stitch. So they're going to be small. I think this is about a five by seven ish maybe five and seven and a half or something so it's not going to fit in a perfect five by seven frame unless there's like a little you know extra room in them but i don't think there is so maybe i have to have my husband just make up a frame for me and then change them out monthly and we have a really small little farm home the it's like the house was built in 1941 so all the rooms are small. And so I like doing stuff small, sorry, because there's just, I don't have a lot of space in this house. So, you know, I've seen it done on like Ada, 14 count Ada, and I, I love the, the big look of it, but I have to keep things small around here because everything's just small. <laughs> Can I say small one more time? If you guys are counting how many times I said that. So. Yeah, I think I just, I worked a little on here and a little bit on the house since last time. So just pull this out. This one sits in my little cart out by my couch. I have one of those rolly three tray, three tier trays and some of, some of these whips, I don't have them in a bag. I just have them sitting out there. So I grab it when I'm just kind of like, eh, let's grab it and go. So that is all I worked on in the last two weeks which is a fair amount of stitching. Like I really worked hard on finishing the uh, Love is the Key because I wanted to get that done for Mother's Day so I could start a project, kind of reward myself. I really want to stick right around 20 whips. So when I try to finish something, then I give myself permission to start. But if I go over or under, it's fine. Like it's not a fast and hard rule. Like there's no rules in baseball. So, all right. Haul, I did, I stopped over at Stitchville one more time. They are, I think they're gonna be closing next week at the 24th or something like that. So I was able to stop by one more time. Oh, and it was so funny because I'm sitting there like looking at projects, you know, like charts and everything. And the lady looked at me, she goes, are you? Crow River Stitcher and I was just like oh I am and um I'm like I got recognized out in public so if you guys are watching and, and then and then like 
a half hour later is it still in there because like every time I went it's like a two hour two hour tour um I was checking out and the a lady in front of me she's like you're the Crow River Stitcher and I was like yeah and so I got recognized twice <laughs> I mean I was in a stitch store so obviously you know people watch YouTube and stuff but I was like shocked that like and then um yeah it was just cute so hey ladies if you're watching thanks for stop or mentioning and just saying hi so all right it's charts let's see what I have found so I found a few more fun things there I didn't take them out of the package because it's just a pain in the butt so hopefully the it's not too shiny so this one is called Waxing Moon Designs Patriotic Barn Trio because I live on a farm and we have a big barn. I love our big barn. It needs some work, but it's it's got a, a new, um, when we moved out, it had a new roof. And that's like saving grace for barns. If they have a roof, they should be able to stand the test of time. But yeah, liberty, freedom, justice. So I want to get one of these started for all the Memorial Day and 4th of July Day things coming up, all the patriotic stuff. I, I have a few patriotic things I want to start, so I'll probably be over the 20, but 20, you know, a small, a small doesn't count in your whips because they're quick. These are just um, 61 by 77 on 30 count, so it's they're small. They should go pretty quick. I mean, there's a fair amount of stitching in them with the, the grass and everything, but it's not a, not a big, huge sampler. So super cute. Probably start that sooner than later. Um, and then from the same company, I saw this cute one, Bittersweet Trio. I loved the fall, that squirrel and the pumpkin, that fox, and then a little raven or crow have to start that for being the Crow River Stitcher. So this needs needs to get started later this summer for fall. Super cute. Those are really cute. I love the little border and the leaf in there. And these are 60 by 75. So on 28 count. So it finishes about four by five. So be cute little pillow. Or even flat, flat finish. No, I, a little cute pillow in a little fall display. Yeah, very cute. Love those. I'm gonna, I didn't, I didn't, they, she, I think she, there was a few other Waxy Moon designs, but I might have looked them up and I really like their designs. Uh, I don't, I don't see people talking about them too much. So those are really cute. All right. The next one I found is Scattered Seed Sampler Night night watch 1626 so it's a halloween sorry about the glare the cute little pot with the pumpkins and the birds and i'm not sure I, those must be black cats down there kind of weird elongated like they're arched but this one is small too smaller 77 by 142 so that shouldn't take long very cute. And that just calls for two, four, six, seven colors. And they do have a DMC conversion or gentle art. So light black that one. And then I saw a couple people doing this one and I might start this Memorial Day and work on it. I mean, it will not be done this year. <laughs> Maybe by next Memorial Day, it is Plum Street Samplers, American Sampler. Because that house is a monstrosity. I love, I love the house. I love that little um, quilt thing and the tree and the flip. And I love it all. Something speaks to me on that. So that, that might be my Memorial Day start. Yeah, I just decided that. <laughs> and this one is, it's a stitch coat, 227 by 189. So not, it's just a, um, a smaller, bigger sampler. And yeah, 
on Winter Brew, 36 count Winter Brew. I don't know if I'll do 36 or 40. I haven't decided. I do love my 40 count. So, but I don't, I, I like 36 too. So either or, whatever I have, um, maybe I'll just get a big thing of Winter's Brew in 36 because I don't know, were those pillows that I, those red, white, and bloom, is that 30 or 32? I'm not sure. And so because I want to do all the Prairie Schooler uh, monthlies, I picked up what they had because everything was 25% off. So I grabbed what they had there. So this is the March. Love this March one. The lambs, um, the, the little daffodils. So picked up the March, they had the April, so I picked up the April, of course, the bunnies, spring, um, yeah, so cute, I just, oh, I love Prairie Schooler, that's something I might want to, like, collect all of them someday, all right, April, and then May, this month. And this one, it's got little sheep in there. They're all, yeah, I cannot just, I just want to start them all right now. <laughs> like, ooh. And I'll probably stick it all on the same fabric that I've been working on. I don't love that, new, the lamb's wool, like, but I don't hate it. It's fine. But I think I'm going to just continue. I want them all be the same and I don't want to restart the January so I think but so it's May so I still need June I have the July I bought last time and then I still need August and then they didn't have those there so I have the September one I got which is my birthday month and this is probably my least favorite of them um no I shouldn't say that no I like it no, it's cute. I don't mind hunting. Like we, we are, I'm not a big hunter. I, I love fishing, but I've never hunted. I, I guess I've gone duck hunting with my dad when I was little, but I've never, I've never gone deer hunting, which we can on our property, but I just haven't. And so, yeah, it's got cute little dog and the guy and his little, there's a little rifle. So that's September. And then October, which is my daughter's birth month, which is so fitting for her because she loves Halloween, her favorite. And she loves just like all that dark stuff, all the Halloween stuff. This one is intense with all the grass. All these are pretty stitch heavy. And the pheasant, we have a bunch of pheasants out here. I love the, the sound they make. I just heard one this morning. But yeah, the pheasants and the little crows and the crow. Ah, oh, these are all so cute. Like, I want to do all of those and all of these. Like, that's my goal. And then even like make some of these. It's so great that you could just pull out and make some. Like, I, I want to do that as well. <laughs> I don't know. If I would stitch all these on the same or make all the pillows or little like I don't know I haven't decided but so then I just need November and December so I just need a few more months and I have the, all those that will finish out my collection of the monthly ones they'll take me a few years to get them all done um, and I'm in no rush but and then I found a couple fabrics. I found uh, this, is this for, yeah, 40 count Newcastle Spice. Really pretty. Really pretty color. Not sure what I'll use it for, but I just got a big, big hunk of it. Can use it for whatever. And that's by Picture This Plus. Yes, Spice Picture This Plus 40 count. And then the last thing I found, she, they had a basket of these um, primitive hair. 
and this I loved this color this is 30 count um, it's from the rainbow collection primitive hair I have no idea what I'll use it for but I just really love that color maybe something fall it looks fallish to me I haven't even opened it to see how big of a doesn't even have the size on there is it just this one dust how big is it that a fat half maybe maybe a little smaller I don't know but yeah isn't that color just pretty I love that rich wine color it's really warm I don't know what I'll put on it, but I had to have it. Why not? Right? So that is my haul. That is all of my stitchy stuff for the day or for the two weeks. Um, so thank you for tuning in and coming back and watching. And I have, I pulled out two crochet items to show. And I wanted to talk about this YouTuber. Her name is... Elise Rose Crochet. I think uh, Elise Rose. I'll put it down there. She is a wealth of information on Amigurumi. She's been doing it for quite a while. She makes, she came up with these designs herself. These are free on her website and blog. And she has a tutorial that she walks you through how to do this guy, I believe. And then on her blog, it's a step-by-step -step on how to do all of these and the free, free, um, charts, diagrams, um, patterns <laughs> have to cross over, but I did both of these little bunnies. Um, so cute. You can pick any colors you want. I just kind of did, uh, beigey with, and then, um, put his color, mix the ears. I could have mixed up her ears. Um, she's got little pantalones on the peachy pantalones. And then you just do the stripes and this little skirt is, this one is attached. It's not, um, uh, like you can't change it out. So yeah, you just attach it on and see, this was the little, I think it's the peak picot. It's P I C O T. It's French, I think. Picot, the decor, the little trim, and this is what I was thinking of doing on that pillow, and then I just kind of liked the simple. But yeah, that would be a really cute little trim to put on some of your little finishes too. And then he just gets got a little scarf with a little button. Super cute and easy. Oh, and her little bow. <laughs> So if you guys are wanting to try the amigurumi and like, I don't know where to start, Elise Rose, and you could start out with a really simple bunny, very easy, all one piece. You don't have to, I think, yeah, you got to sew on the arms and the ears, um, but his body is all one. You don't have to sew on his head to anything. It's just all worked down to one spot. So very easy. His face face um, is minimal, just a little V in slot. And then you could just do um, yarn for the eyes. I have the, the little eyes that you snap in. But yeah, really cute. So I have one more little surprise for you guys. So here in the farm springtime we always have a few little critters so that we'll call this a critter cameo my one of our barn cats had a little litter and so we have some kittens <laughs> they are about two and a half weeks old now this is a little girl look at that little face marking of hers She's so cute. We call her Smudge, Fudge. She looks like just a little 
Oh, and look at her little beard. <laughs> a little goatee. So this is one little female. And then we have another little female. Little gray. Got a cute little markings back there. Little gray tail. You a female, right? Yeah, pretty sure. But look at those little faces. They're so cute at this age. And then one last one. This is the little boy in the litter. <laughs> look at he, he looks like Batman with the, the, the thing with that. So he's mostly solid gray with a little white. Hi. With the little, little mitts. Oh my gosh. Kittens are the cutest. So, yeah, um, they're out in our garage right now just because we always get the litters so we can handle them a lot because they usually find new homes. We usually keep maybe one. Um, I'm not sure if we'll keep one. If we do, I really, I really think little smudge is cute. <laughs> so, yeah, some kittens to love on. My daughter just is out there in the bar in the garage loving up on them and the mom but there they all are little critter cameo yeah all right take care you guys happy stitching and enjoy enjoy your beautiful may